10 Biggest Ships in the World Number 10, The Freedom Ship Freedom Ship will be a vast floating city that will be more than a mile long and 25 stories high. It will cost $10 billion to build and will constantly circumnavigate the globe. The 2.7 million ton ship will be four times the length of the Queen Mary II. So large it will not be able to enter any existing port. There is no dockyard in the world big enough to build it. Though it's still an idea and they haven't started the construction yet. Number 9, CSCL Globe. CSCL Globe is a large container ship that can carry at most 19,100 containers. The first of five ships in its class, the CSCL Globe was built to run Asia-Europe trade routes. The Globe was launched in November 2014. It was built by Hyundai Heavy Industries in Ulsan, South Korea. The ship was completed in nine months. Currently operated by the China Shipping Container Lines and manned by 37 people, the vessel has a tonnage of 195,630. Number 8, the Seawise Giant. With a length of 1,504 feet, the oil tanker Seawise Giant is the longest ship ever built. It possessed the greatest deadweight tonnage ever recorded. Fully laden, her displacement was 657,019 tons, the heaviest ship of any kind. It has a draft of 24.6 meters, she was incapable of navigating the English Channel, the Suez Canal or the Panama Canal. She was last used as a floating storage and offloading unit. Moored off the coast of Qatar in the Persian Gulf at the Al Shaheen oil field. Number 7, the Dockwise Vanguard. As offshore oil and gas facilities have grown in size, Dockwise saw a market for a ship that could carry the largest floating oil rigs to their destinations. It will reduce the time and costs of transportation and allowing rigs to be built economically in a shipyard. In conjunction with Finland based Deltamarin, they designed a ship called Dockwise Vanguard. It was followed by an in-house competition won by Jerry Sarlies and Anthony Van Ginkel. In 2014 Dockwise started a feasibility study into a larger successor to Dockwise Vanguard. Dockwise Vanguard has a flat bowless deck measuring 70 by 275 meters. It allows cargo longer and wider than the deck. Her deck is 70% larger than the MV Blue Marlin, the third largest heavy lift ship. Dockwise Vanguard is semi-submersible allowing her to lift ships or rigs out of the water, and to place them into water. When her ballast tanks are flooded, her deck lies up to 16 meters below the surface, allowing her to handle deep draft cargoes. Dockwise Vanguard can accommodate a crew of 40. Number 6, the Oasis of the Seas. It took six years and cost over 800 million pounds to build. The ship was handed over to the Royal Caribbean Cruise Line in the Finnish port of Turku by shipbuilder STX. It measures a staggering 16 decks high, or 65 meters above the waterline, and measures 1,180 feet long and 154 feet wide. It has the capacity to accommodate 6,360 passengers and 2,160 crew members. Guests who spend time aboard the record-breaking vessel can expect a whole new world of entertainment. It includes an aquatic amphitheater, called the Aqua Theater. It serves as a pool by day and a dazzling oceanfront theater by night and a rock climbing area. Included in the ship's vast expanse are seven themed neighborhoods, Central Park, Boardwalk, the Royal Promenade, Pool and Sports Zone, Vitality at Sea Spa and Fitness Center, Entertainment Place and Youth Zone. Each of which includes extraordinary elements such as the first park at sea. A zip line that races diagonally nine decks above an open-air atrium. An original handcrafted carousel and 28 multi-level urban-style loft suites boasting floor-to-ceiling windows. Before we go to number 5. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel. Please click the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video. Number 5. USS Theodore Roosevelt. It has a length of 1,092 feet. Displacement is approximately 97,000 tons full load and a speed of 30 plus knots. Her history began on September 30, 1980, when a contract was awarded to Newport News Shipbuilding. Construction began on October 31, 1981, when United States Secretary of Defense Caspar Weinberger authenticated the keel laying of TR by initiating the first weld. Number 4, The Harmony of the Seas. Harmony of the Seas, one of the largest cruise ship ever built. 
The 70 meters high vessel, which cost 1 billion euros to build, can carry 6,296 passengers and 2,384 crew. It weighs 120,000 tons, by comparison, the Titanic weighed 26,000 tons. Built by STX France, the vessel has a gross tonnage of 227,700, which is 2,000 gross tons more than the allure of the seas. It has its own spa, four swimming pools, ten hot tubs, two surf simulators, one casino, water slides, one full-sized basketball court and many other amenities that can be enjoyed by the passengers. Number 3, the Blue Marlin. The giant ship that ships other ships. When one needs to transport a large number of ships, move a gigantic oil rig, or perhaps carry a damaged warship home, the MV Blue Marlin heeds the call. Blue Marlin is a semi-submersible heavy lift ship designed to transport very large semi-submersible drilling rigs above the transport ship's deck. It is equipped with 38 cabins to accommodate 60 people, a workout room, sauna and swimming facilities. Blue Marlin and her sister ship MV Black Marlin comprise the Marlin class of heavy lift ship. When you need to transport 22 barges, each weighing nearly 3,000 tons, halfway around the world, you're going to need a pretty sturdy boat. And they don't get much sturdier than the Blue Marlin. One of the most extraordinary crafts ever to sail the seas. The incredible ship can carry 75,000 tons. Rather than the usual cargo of toys, TVs and coffee, it carries other ships and oil rigs. Number 2, the Azam. A monstrous 590-foot yacht that was built in only three years under the guidance of engineer Mubarak Saad al-Ababi. It was styled by Christophe Leone. Given the size, the vessel's 30-knot top speed is quite impressive as well. The interior is reportedly decorated in the manner of an early 20th-century empire style. This is the longest yacht in the world. It costs 658 million and it has its own missile defense system. It is owned by Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the President of the United Arab Emirates. Number 1, The Prelude. Prelude FLNG is the world's largest floating liquefied natural gas platform as well as the largest offshore facility ever constructed. The Prelude was built by the Technip Samsung Consortium in South Korea for a joint venture between Royal Dutch Shell, Kogas and Inpex. It is 1,601 feet long, 243 feet wide, and made with more than 260,000 tons of steel. At full load, it will displace more than 600,000 tons, more than five times the displacement of a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. It is located almost 300 miles offshore the coastal town of Broome, Western Australia. Its construction started on December 2013 and it cost $3.5 billion to complete the project. This is used in mining and oil production. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel. Please click the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video.